إني ألقى الإيناس في صومي وصلاتي ودعائي للرحمن وجميع الطاعات. Now, as I explained before, now our relationship with science is a good relationship. Muslims have a good relationship with science, and Islam has a good relationship with science. We believe that science is the way of finding uh, out nature, how nature is composed, or what it's composed of. It's not perfect. Science is not perfect, and it can change. Uh, and theories change all the time. In fact, even the scientific facts can change. Now, having said that, though, there are some things which we don't think will, could ever change, really, if you think about it. Some rudimentary scientific facts that you couldn't really say could change, like the shape of the Earth, the shape of the universe, the movement of the celestial bodies in the Earth. These are rudimentary things. Now, the Islamic proposition is this, or the Islamic argument is this, or my argument, at least, is the following. Now, if you look at all of the ancient religions, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, the ancient world religions that we have today, if you look at the shape of the earth as an example, if, the, if you look at the Upan Upanishads, where it talks about the earth as being like a disc, or if you look at the Old Testament, or the New Testament, where clearly it talks about the earth as being flat, as in Acts uh, chapter 10 and 11, and the, uh, verse 11, and there are other references uh, has, it, that the earth has pillars, there is no way you can interpret the earth as being round in the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, which is all part of the Hindu scriptures. But, listen to this. The Quran says in chapter 39, verse 5, that Allah rolls the day into the night and He rolls the night into the day. Now the word that's used here is the same sort of word that will be used to resemble a spherical motion and for this reason now you might be saying look this is your own superimposition you're superimposing your scientific knowledge and you're trying to you know suggest to us that the quran is the only book that said that the earth is round no i'm not saying that in fact if you look at ahmed ibn hanbal who was one of the uh, older scholars he said that the earth was round and he said that he, the, there was a consensus among his students and himself that the earth was round ibn taymiyyah you know, very well-known scholar, he said there was ijma, that the earth was round and that the universe was round. Now this is 800 years ago, 900 years ago. I mean, we talk about Ahmed ibn Hanbal, that's thousands of years, a thousand years ago, more than a thousand years ago, actually, 1,200 years ago. So the early scholars of Islam had identified that not only the earth was round, but that the universe, as Ibn Taymiyyah said in his fatwa, was also round and spherical, as it would have to be if it was expanding from all sides. And uh, uh, Muhammad al-Juwaini, another scholar, big scholar of the, of the past. So in other words, the Islamic scholarship indicated the roundness of the earth and also indicated this, the rotations of the celestial bodies like the sun, the moon, and the earth itself. This is the, so really and truly, if you are a fan of science, I'm not saying that science is the measuring stick where you can now try and find out if Islam is true or not using science. But I'm saying that there are some facts that are non-controversial and everybody will agree upon. And these are just some of them. The fact that the earth is round, the fact that you know, the, 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 the celestial bodies rotate in the, in the air, in the, in, the, in, the cos, in the cosmos above. These things, if you believe them and you're a Christian, you're going to find your, yourself in, in a real problem. But as a Muslim, you can reconcile. You can reconcile. And for this reason, we can make a very potent case here. We can make a case that Islam is the closest religion, closest world religion that can be correlated to, the, to science in general and is the only religion which does not, only ancient world religion, which does not fumble when it comes to rudimentary scientific facts. <laughs> Dua 